All right, so I'm gonna quickly show you how to make a dip in the street kind of like this, not exactly like that, but uh, this is how I would do it personally, just to keep things simple and good looking. So first things first is you measure out your block um, to the, you know, the width of your streets and then you double it. You select, uh, you go to your categories, you select arc on your objects and you hit enter and you get this screen. You want your width to be max, which is, you know, the width that you drew the box in. Your number of sides can be anything. I choose eight to keep things simple. Uh, my arc is 90 degrees, obviously, because that's, uh, that's the angle that the streets are. Um, our starting angle could be anything, but I just pick the degrees that will face it the right direction. All right, I'm gonna click OK and it creates it. All right, we're gonna move this into place. And then we're gonna resize it. Such like that. Okay. Now we're going to vertex it. Um, I'm not gonna vertex the corners, but I'm gonna vertex just this piece right here. We're gonna click our vertex tool. Then we're going to select the squares we wanna manipulate. The reason why I'm going to use the selection, because if you try to manually select these white squares, there's actually two white squares in this one field here. It doesn't automatically merge these uh, vertices together. So you have to use this first to get it properly selected. Now you can adjust the height. Hit enter and then it shall select it. Um, I'll, I'll never select the yellow squares because they already do bulk edits on their own, so. All right, we click yes to merge the vertices. And now you got this thing. It's a very, very simple uh, dip in the sidewalk. This is how I would do it personally, just because this is a much easier method. Because if you look at the picture, there's also some more walkway right there, but I'm not gonna bother with that. I'm sure if you really got into it, you could get it figured out. And I'm sure it's not the hardest thing in the world, but upon me trying to do it, I couldn't really figure it out myself. So I'm just gonna do it like this to keep it simple, okay. Now, of course, we're going to want to texture it. I'm going to skew mine. It's going to be some ugly ass texture work, but it's whatever. It gets the job done. All right. And then, uh, if you want like something to mark kind of like the yellow pad right here, you could use a decal. I don't know if there's any, any better, there's probably some better ways to do it, but since I don't really remember how overlays and stuff work, because it's been a long time since I've really done map editing, I'm just going to use a decal. Since I can't find any really good textures, I'm just going to toss the sewer grate right on there. And then the last thing you do is you hold Alt and you press P and you check this. And look for errors. Now you can ignore these. 
if you get any errors that is talking like invalid surfaces or anything like that, that means your vertexing uh, didn't go right. You should, you need to go to the Valve Wiki and look that stuff up to figure out what problems vertexing causes. Anyways, that's all. I'm going to compile this, run it, and then you can see what it's like. Alright, this is a, this is what it looks like in game. Let's see. You don't really see the decal there. Like I said, you, oh, 